Season game at Enron Field home plate umpire Jerry Davis going through the new ground rules, including the flagpole and the slope and center field all in play. Top of the first, Octavio Dutel pitches. Doug Glanville hits. First regular season hit at Enron. Greg Biggio gets the first Astro hit in the bottom of the inning. Bottom of the seventh. Fills up 2 0. Richard Hidalgo, the shot to left field, and this is a home run. The first Astro to hit a home run at Enron. The gas pump lights up. And the train leaves the station. Story of my life, David. <laughs> Top of the eighth. Man on first, Ron Gant. Takes Doug Henry for a ride on the train. Gant's first home run. Phillies win this one 4-1. In Comerica Park, fancy place, largest scoreboard. Has the stainless steel statues of Tiger legends like Ty Cobb. Mark McLemore. He takes a strike. Called by Detroit native Rick Reed. Switched umpire and crews to be able to call that strike and the whole game. John Olerud with the man on in the first. Olerud taking it to right. Alex Rodriguez holds it third. And Olerud getting the first hit ever in Comerica Park history. Bottom of one, Luis Polonia's on third. Let off the triple. Greg Jeffries up. And he singles. Polonia come to score. Tigers up 1-0. The first run in this new park. Bottom of two, two on for Bobby Higginson. A lot of triples predicted here. And predictions are true for Higginson. Drives it to center. One Encarnacion and Bologna both come to score. The Tigers go up 4-0. Now to the six. Tigers up 4-2, two, two on. Mark McLemore rips it to first, but Tony Clark making the play and doubling up Carlos Guillen. The Tigers go on to win it 5-2. It's underway. Dusty Baker just got a joke given him by Willie McCovey in 1975. In the first, the Giants starter, Kirk Reeder, giving it up. The first single ever at Pac Bell. It's Devon White doing the job. He's going to get his name in the paper. Dodgers trail one nothing in the third. Kevin Elster takes Reeder out. Looks like Jeffrey Mayer has apparently gotten bigger and moved to San Francisco. He pulled that thing in. Proud of the feet. It still counts as a home run. Bottom of third, two out. Barry Bonds fighting it off. Becoming the first player to foul a ball off his ankle at Pac Bell. He gets up and stays on the same at bat. Very next swing against Chan Ho Park. And even with derogatory credit, you can own a brand new car. Bonds, third of the year. 2 1, the Giants go in front. Top of the fifth, one on. Dodgers down 2-1. Dodgers in front 3-2. Again, it's Elster taking Reeder out. Second dong of the game. Eighth inning. Dodgers up one at 5-4. Ibbitt. Elster again. This time off Felix Rodriguez. And the Dodgers win it 6-5. Now, Elster has been out of the game for a year. The Brewers played at night ever. Big flag for the president. Now, Dad's a lefty. W, a righty ball. Bottom six, Brewers lead 3-2, and Bernie Brewer, Jeremy Burnett's, his third homer of the season is the first by a Brewer at the new ballpark. Michael Tucker hit the first, first home run. Milwaukee was up 4-2. Now it's 4-4, Dennis Rays, Richie Saxon. Behold the power of cheese. 5-4, Brewers win it, and after starting 0-4, they get their first W of the season. To see a bittersweet home opener. Let us now celebrate the life of Willie Stargell, who died early this morning, and reflect on Pops with a moment of silence. Last week. Reds in town, top one, Sean Casey. The Pittsburgh native, a two-run shot, first home run at PNC Park. It was Casey who had the first base hit in the brand-new Miller Park in Milwaukee on Friday. 2-0 Cincinnati. Bottom one, they're on the corners. Aaron Boone sticks the landing. This in support of rookie Chris Reitzma, who allowed just one earned run in six innings. Bottom seven, three, two Reds, Adrian Brown, Michael Tucker saves another run. Still three, two Reds. Top nine, Casey. To right, Derek Bell. Two run double by Casey. Reds win eight to two. Casey, again, a Pittsburgh native, having a big day. Four for four, five RBI. And even with a new ballpark, the Pirates lose their eighth straight home opener. And the Phillies have taken the field for the 2004 home opener. Let's check this out. So, Wolf ready for the first official pitch. At Citizens Bank Park. 
and it's a strike. Hey, Shelly. Flash bulbs going off from the cameras. Everybody wants a picture of that very first pitch. And his first strike down of the game. Go ahead, Bobby. Make some history, player. days later, Petco Park enjoyed its first regular season Major League Baseball game. From nostalgic tributes to an extra inning come from behind win, April 8th was a telling introduction of the 2004 Padres. Last year, a 16-game winner. Pujols hits it a ton. Wow, what a start on opening day. New ballpark, same old Albert. Now he goes, and Mulder hits one to deep right center field. At the wall. Home run, Mark Mulder. What a day for the Cardinal lefty. It's 6-2. Belted. Deep left center. The ball game is over. Ryan Zimmerman has delivered the happy ending for the Nationals in the first game in their beautiful new ballpark. Well, there was a question going into that first pitch as Garrett rips it down the right field line toward the corner, and it's out of here! The first batter in the history of City Field, Jody Garrett hits a home run to give the Padres a one to nothing lead. Into the air to deep left field, back goes Headley looking up, and it's out of here! David Wright ties the game! Over the retired numbers from the old stadium, there's a look at the new stadium. Yogi Berra throwing out the first pitch. Would you have it any other way? Top of the first, CC Sabathia getting a start, and he didn't waste time to get the first strikeout at the new ballpark. Strikes out Victor Martinez. Bottom of the first, it's Johnny Damon's turn to make history. He singles to the gap in right center field, the first hit at the new ballpark. Bottom five, Jorge Posada. The lifelong Yankee goes to straightaway center field. It's still 4-0-8 out there. The first home run hit at the new Yankee Stadium, his second of the year. Grady Sizemore, that puts the nail in the coffin for the Yankees on this day. A grand slam, 9-1. Victor Martinez would add another home run 